Rajiv Kumar, I'm at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. So the main areas of interest in myeloma at ASH 2017 has been the concept of early intervention in myeloma uh, with the inclusion of clinical trials looking at uh, treatment of high-risk small tree multiple myeloma. There has been interesting combinations that are being studied in multiple myeloma. Again, the multi-drug combinations hopefully will allow us to give limited duration of therapy for these patients. And the use of MRD or minimal residual disease testing as a tool is continuing to become um, more important in this disease. Finally, the immunotherapy trials, especially the CAR-T trials and the antibody trials are starting to show significant promise and I suspect that we are going to see very interesting data in the next uh, few years. The most important improvements or the findings I think in the myeloma space for the next year or two uh, will be the, the incorporation of the new classes of drugs, especially in the monoclonal antibodies in the upfront setting. So I think we are going to start seeing uh, triplet regimens that incorporate an antibody or a quadruplet regimens that are going to add the monoclonal antibodies to the uh, existing triplet combinations and these uh, quadruplet regimens potentially can give us very deep responses which may translate to a significantly improved progression free and overall survival. Obviously those studies are ongoing and will give us some you know, important results in the next few years. The second most important uh, aspect I think in myeloma has been the concept of early intervention. So we are starting to see a lot more clinical trials looking at high risk small ring population uh, trying to see if we can intervene in them. Um, many of the ongoing trials are single arm trials looking at the feasibility of doing these new drugs or drug combinations but there are also large randomized trials that are being planned that is again looking at this early uh, population again with the hypothesis that maybe intervening early can lead to cure in the, some of these patients. Now an important component of this uh, the quest for cure is the incorporation of minimal residual disease testing in, for myeloma. And I think it's becoming mainstream. There's the flow-based and sequencing-based methodologies, both of which are starting to mature. And we are getting more and more data showing that getting to an MRD negative state really translates to better outcome. I think the future studies will have to be designed to ask the question whether this information is actionable. Can we change our therapy based on what the MRD testing shows? Then I think one of the most exciting areas is, is clearly the field of immunotherapy. Uh, we have started seeing the results of the early uh, smaller trials with the CAR T cells. Multiple trials have shown significant efficacy. Clearly there is some data lacking in terms of the durability of response in these patients, but clearly these patients who are refractory to all the drugs are getting deep responses by using CAR T cell therapy. In, along with that, there are other technologies that are starting to be explored, like the uh, bite technology. There are several bites that are BCMA targeted that are going through clinical trials. And that clearly gives the flexibility of using something off the shelf instead of having to process T cells uh, from a patient. But then there are also monoclonal antibodies that are uh, conjugated to toxins that are being uh, studied in clinical trials. BCMA is one of the targets that is being looked at and I think the early results clearly seem to be very promising as well. Now um, there are also um, you know, improvements in terms of other new classes of drugs. Uh, in addition to all the immunotherapy agents, there is some exciting data with Selinexor that is a new drug that is being studied in my, uh, myeloma. And particularly I want to call out Venetoclax which uh, also uh, seems to have significant activity as a single agent in patients with a translocation 1114. So there are multiple classes of drugs that are coming through. So certainly we should start seeing you know, more, more combinations that are based on science or the biology of the disease, which hopefully will lead us to uh, more of those deep responses.